What is going on guys? This is going to be Dark with a basically an overview of all of the Call of Duty uh, custom figures that I've been making over the last little while. So uh, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with the uh, first figures that we started off with and then going from there. So we'll go ahead and grab Price here. I really didn't do much to him at all. Didn't even glue in the accessories or anything. So uh, the first one's going to be a three and three quarter inch a Marauder gun runner, a night vision goggle. So originally uh, with the plug and everything, I thought it was going to have a hinge. Uh, so with the fact that it didn't include that, that was originally designed only for the Marauder gun runner pieces. So it's no biggie to me the way that the wave in the hat is cut. Uh, you can go ahead and just slip those in and they work no problem. Of course you can adjust those later, make them look better. Um, but the second one is going to be the cigar from the uh, Revol Mini Venom Snake. So that's just to make it as accurate as I can to the trailer. And then of course, uh, I talked about in the uh, review that I did for price, I use a G36C. And the reason for that is it's a cousin rifle to the original uh, HK433. Uh, that is used as the Kilo 141. I just wanted a bit more diversity as far as the weaponry that came with these figures goes. So uh, I just went ahead and used that. So I'll go ahead and set him over here. And then of course we will move on to Bruce. So basically with him, he'd gone through a little bit of craziness with me. I had a nightmare uh, Mafex Batman that when a puppy had moved into my house and things like that, got a little thrashed so the head had survived um, but I'd gone ahead and cut off the knee pad applied it there and then the head and neck had to do a little bit of finagling carved it up a little bit but it still works the articulation functions properly and I was able to hide it underneath the scarf applied a little bit of paint but it's not sticking so not worried about it too much and then of course the headsets which I've pretty much applied to all of the figures uh, it's just gonna be off of the uh, ear of each of the prices and then just swap it around. I'd throw in this one on the opposite side, on the right. And then of course, um, two accessories from the 80th anniversary Punisher. That is going to be the rifle itself, which I've modified and added a little bit of black and green um, to the actual sight. And then the leg strap here, this little rubbery piece, you can just slide that up the leg. And then for the holster, this is going to be the Revol Mini uh, Solid Snake SOCOM or uh, like a USP 45. And then the holster itself is going to be from either Edward Kenway or one of the Assassin's Creed uh, pistol holsters, but I'd slit it so it'll fit. And then little ribboning that you get from a Walmart. This has come loose, so I'll go ahead and glue that down. Or, something else but other than that um, the backpack has actually grown on me a lot I don't know why but I actually kind of like this This is like a Lord of the Rings um, satchel that came up with like a Legolas or an Aragorn or something I think it's an Aragorn but the uh, canteen is from the Venom Snake from the Revol Mini and then the two pouches are from one of the McFarlane Assassin's Creed figures so uh, I liked him a lot as I was making him, and I always wanted to use the Bruce head for something, and figured Bad Fleck will be used for good soldier. And then the Midas-ish figure here. I put a lot of effort into him. I don't know why um, I decided I was going to be using different piece of webbing. I wanted the chest piece to look different, um, so let's stand him up here. Um, the head is going to be a Padawan Obi-Wan from the Black Series. Same thing. Put the headset on the opposite, or on the same side as prices, rather. And then the original Kilo 141, I had taken two of the ends of a leather binding might have come off of the actual Nightmare Batman come to think of it and whoop goes falling in the back so 
um, the Templar chest rig that came off of Shea Cormac. Gone ahead and clipped the bottom of it, glued a key ring so that way it'll be basically a sling that'll rotate. It's not going to get in any any issues. I'll spin the, the sling. It's still a little low for my taste, but it's all right. And then add a little frag from the 80th anniversary Punisher that I'd clipped off the belt, applied it here. The belt itself from the uh, Revol Mini Venom Snake again, uh, same thing, another pistol holster from the McFarlane uh, Pirates from the Assassin's Creed line with, I believe this is the same 9mm that comes with Venom Snake. I'm going to just stuff that down in there. The wrench from the Black Series Cal Kestis. Uh, no belts on the waist or anything like that. I felt the grenade was fine enough. And then the way that I'd wrapped the chest rig over the top, uh, you wrap it around this way, around this little depth gauge or something, and then under the arm, and then around the radio, and it gives it a nice little tight look. And then instead of the sword, uh, holster I'd gone ahead and thrown in a little radio so other than that a little bandana uh, that came from I believe it's just like a corner piece of a shirt or something like that that way it still has the fold in the front and the back Ooh, and the back and you can just go ahead and pull it up over the top so no biggie on that and then these two honestly Price got a or uh, soap rather got a little bit more attention than anybody else, besides maybe Ghost. But um, these are probably my favorites. So I'm um, just starting off. I know we just went over him the other day, but I made a few more modifications. Not too many. Um, just the M13. This originally came with the Series 2 Ghost, the remake for Modern Warfare. Get off of uh, you. Okay. And the M13, I'd basically taken a bread tie wiring and uh, cut it, put it through the holes on the M13, and then taken the same strapping that I'd gotten from Walmart, made a little sling, and then added some red paint to the Hollow Sun or the Trigicon, whatever it is. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this one. I actually really like the uh, the look on this. And then, of course, the knife. This is from, again, the three and three quarter inch uh, Marauder Gun Runner knife and uh, holster, but I'd, or sheath rather, but I'd clipped the blade and then attached the uh, handle of a Halo Reach um, knife. Just the chest rig knives the ones that don't come out or anything just make it look nice and then the grenades like I mentioned in the actual custom video form I don't know why but I didn't notice until later there's like a concave little piece that's just there and it just looks ugly so I decided I was gonna fill it with two uh, grenades lining up I thought that looked pretty good um, halo reach um, pouch here that I'd strapped on with two extra little leather pieces the knee pads off of the soap figure um, some more pouches here again from the McFarlane uh, pirates or the uh, Assassin's Creed line pirates things like that the actual pouches and knife from the soap uh, same thing with the camelback and then the head was the biggest pain again being super duper patient you just got to go ahead and get in there carve it out as you carve out two or three notches go in try to see if you can pop the head in if you can't pop it back off do another couple of corkscrew motions try to pop it in and eventually um, you don't need to hot glue method or anything like that I've got this to function properly on a lot of different figures since I was a very little kid so just be delicate when you're doing it um, but you can get it to work so 
from here, basically the one that I've been wanting to show off here for the past couple of days, I've just been putting up the uh, final touches on them, is the ghost that I'm sure everybody's been dying to take a look at if you've seen them from the beginning of the video. So, little SOP mod, uh, SR25 or M110 or something, it's just a little sniper rifle, looks like a 7.62 to me. Um, I'll go ahead and pop this out. This is again from the Marauder Gunrunners, but this is from the actual um, 6 inch uh, scale weaponry. I bought the whole pack, like I said I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on that, um, but I bought these mainly because of the functional mags and things like that. I think that's beautiful as well as just the uh, SOP mod configuration. You can do really anything you want with these weapons from changing out different pieces to all kinds of different craziness. So I really, really do love Marauders Gunrunners. I've been using them for years. Uh, I just needed to replace a couple of different things. So, uh, But the actual figure itself. So this is going to be a combination of various different designs. Um, this is going to be, I believe they call it Jawbone. Um, and then I cannot remember the names of the alternative costumes for season two, but it's uh, the hooded, the hooded version. So if you take a look at the actual review, I couldn't name them, but if you uh, look at the grenades that I've included here. Same thing with this little concave piece in Price's chest. That I just really, it's just really ugly. It's just not, it doesn't fit right. It, they may have done it to help fit certain, I don't, you see how it just like dips? It's just, blech. I don't like it. So, filled it with, um, looks like thermite grenades I think that's like really the only time that they'll use a red casing on it and then uh, the yellow tops with the gray I think that's either white smoke or white phosphorus or yellow smoke or white phosphorus I'm pretty sure it's white phosphorus and then the grenade up top if you take a look at the actual McFarland design uh, that they had gotten which was the the actual figure that had come out um, the grenade placement was incorrect so and then of course a little flashbang that I'd taken uh, from the woods but if you look at the grenade placement they were incorrect so if you look at the grenade placement on mine they are also incorrect but due to the way that getting the actual poncho over the figure and making it look correct I figured I'd, I'd fill in a gap here make it a little less game accurate the whole character is not game accurate in the first place I just kind of went a little buck wild off of different concepts, different things that McFarlane had done with their figure as well as um, just my own proceedings with it. So, uh, but the thermite being up here, this is the actual jawbone um, placement for the actual, like the jawbone being the costume placement for the grenade. Uh, the frag being up here, I do need to add a little... Uh, strip of black up here to represent the tape the uh, flashbang or smoke whatever it is should be up here but like I said I placed it down here made it look at least a little bit more normal um, the shotgun shells uh, that came off of the soap figure um, the I don't believe this is a watch I think it was a GPS or something that was on the McFarlane uh, version of Ghost from series 2 uh, I clipped it off with the hobby knife, added a little bit of blue in there, just because there was no color at all. Left the watch alone, I might go in and turn that yellow eventually, I'm not, I don't know yet. Um, but of course, the one knee pad, uh, just generally in the comics he only had the one. I don't know why I had such an obsession with the knives on this one, um, but on the back here, another Marauder gun runner blade. I didn't do anything to the handle on this one, just kept it normal because this uh, particular price hands were able to fit it, so I'm not worried about it. Um, a skull 
looking pouch. So I know this is from the Assassin's Creed um, pirate line. I, I just fit, it fit Ghost really well. So I was just like, alright. Um, the soap uh, leg strap that I'd included with actual fabric. Uh, the same stuff that I put on the other figures. Uh, I really like this because if you glue one part of it in place, it'll still move like real fabric. It looks nice. The knife from the uh, Woods figure, like I said, no idea why I had such a fixation on the knives. Uh, that one is not removable. And then just the actual poncho itself and the uh, hood. So the hooded poncho look, I don't know why I like the black on the uh, tan, but it just really fits for me. Um, basically, I'd gotten this to function from a Kylo Ren um, black series hood, and if you take like if you take it apart, it's literally just uh, cloth vest and like robe that goes over the top with like a chest cut out and the hood cut out individually so I cut the hood out of the chest piece and then it still has the proper articulation with the hood it just can get a little bit wonky and it can displace the hood and I need to go in there and replace everything with a tooth, uh, toothpick but I guess it did kind of work properly especially being on camera that was pretty cool um, but still has his little earpiece if you can see that on the inside and uh, um, I mean like I said I he's he's my own version of Ghost I'm really super impressed with how he came out um, soap is my favorite Call of Duty character I meant to put most of my love toward him but he ended up turning out really 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 cool and um, I'm excited to possibly make make more iterations of him or um, just continue to, to change him as I go but I'm getting a lot of and as I was making him I was getting a lot of like Emil vibes uh, especially from the skull being carved out and things like that so um, one of my favorite things to do is to go ahead and throw um, the I think it's the M2039 or something like that. I don't remember the name uh, of the actual shotgun in Halo, but it looks. Oop! There goes his head. Maybe you guys will get to see what I'm talking about. Where it's kind of a pain to put all of the fabric back in the neck properly. Oop! There we go. Yes, sir. So basically. If anybody was wondering, uh, right off the bat, yes, the ghost um, neck from Series 2 will straight fit right into the price body. No issues. It's a little bit janky to get in, I guess. Come on, don't make me look stupid on camera. But, functional, functional. Looks nice even without the uh, the pawn show and everything going over. But, um, in order to get that look pulled off, basically, like I said, I'd cut out the uh, Kylo Ren hood off of the shoulders, pack the head into the hood, try to push all of this hood down push all of this down into the poncho You get the gist. Like I said, most of the time I need to go in and 
fight with it and pack the uh, ends back in with a toothpick. I don't intend on gluing it because I don't want my poncho to be married to the piece, but it is functional. You can get it to work very well. And uh, like I said, I'm just super impressed with the way that it came out. I think it looks beautiful. It's my uh, my headhunter version of Ghost, but if you guys are interested in um, like commenting, sharing, suggesting anything going forward um, with new figure ideas or new custom ideas or uh, different things unrelated to Call of Duty, um, like my Halo Reach or um, any Halo for that matter, the Star Wars. I completely missed Star Wars Day. Had a lot of stuff going on, so um, like I said, like, comment, please let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay safe with everything that's going on, and you guys have a good one.